All right, so what is up everybody on YouTube? This is Bullet RC, and of course I am coming to you guys today with yet another video. And this time I'm gonna try to keep it short, but we'll see what happens. I wanna talk about my top 10 most worn kicks from 2015, and I still need to do my top 10 albums um, as well, because you guys know I love music, I post about music here and there. Um, so just know that that video is coming too. So once again, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that thumbs up, and if you haven't, Go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, guys, so first up, just remember, these shoes aren't, you know, don't necessarily have to have come out in 2015. Some of them didn't, and also, they're not in any particular order. It's just some shoes that I noticed I was wearing a lot more than others um, from last year. So first up, we had the Air Jordan 1. Of course, this is the Shadow. You guys know these definitely did not release last year, but I found myself wearing a lot of my ones a lot, just in general. Um, I didn't want to pull them all out again, um, but, this is the one I probably wore the most was the Shadows, and it actually has kind of funny, came to be one of my favorite Air Jordan ones, almost even more than the, I would say, Breads and Royals. Um, those are usually the most liked, but I, I think the Shadow colorway is probably among the best, in my opinion. I've also been wearing the Shattered Backboard ones too a lot, but I just didn't want to have two ones in the list, so I just left those you know, in the box. But anyways, that is my number one, or not, not my number one, because these are in no order, but that's my first one. So let's go ahead and hop into the second pair of shoes. So for my next most worn of 2015 has to be these bad boys right here. The Saucony Shadow 6000. This is the black coffee um, pair. All black suede with the gum bottom, white midsole. Um, and you guys can definitely tell why this was one of my most worn shoes because it's just an easy, clean colorway just to pick up and wear. Um, and I really need to go back and grab the wheat pair. And I, I, I'm going to probably in the, in the future go back and grab all three. I have the blacks. This is funny because this is actually a sample pair. I got these when I was in Boston. Shout out to Saucony as always. When I was out in Boston for the meeting group, this, this is actually a sample pair of the black coffees. I had mine, I think, about a month or two early. Um, but yeah, definitely another one of my most worn kicks of 2015. All right, next shoe. Next up, we have a shoe that is, well, you see it already. This is not new to anyone. The Adidas Ultra Boost in white. Um, I honestly wish I had two pairs of them. Um, but since the retail is at 180, this is one of those shoes where I waited around a long time just to cop it on, uh, at retail. I got mine on East Bay um, when they restock, so I'm probably just gonna wait around until they restock again and get a fresh pair. Um, but I just I wear these a lot, and um, I find myself trying to make sure they don't get too dirty. Um, and I just wish I just had a pair that I could wear and not exactly care, and then had another pair that was just always fresh, white out of the box. I mean, when you get Ultra Boost, you have to wear them around a little bit so they kind of stretch out. Because when you first get them, the toe is like that. Like, that joint just, the, the, the material is so, like, structured. It, it's so pulled together. But once you wear them a little bit, they'll stretch out. Anyways, there's another one of my most worn 2015, the all-white Adidas Ultra Boost. Y'all know what to do next. Next shoe. Next up is my favorite Air Jordan of all time, and that is the Aqua Air Jordan 8. Um, and I have my 07s here because that is the pair I was wearing for most of 2015. Um, and this is a pair, this is still the pair I'm wearing. Um, I, I just don't want, I don't feel like breaking out my 2015 pair um, because I have these 07s and I'd rather just wear these until they break down rather than wear my brand new pair when I already have like a pair that's kind of like cracking and, and whatnot. So this is definitely another one of my most worn of uh, 2015 because you can, I feel like just because they have this black and purple on the bottom, this is a predominantly black shoe. Um, so I'm able to wear these with a lot of different stuff. Um, so that's why I, I just like to put them on. And all in all, to me, this they're, they're comfortable. I mean, the 07 Aquas are extremely comfortable. The 07 Playoffs are extremely comfortable. Um, I, I gotta toss on the eights and wear them a little bit more from this year to see how comfortable they are compared to these bad boys. But that inner sock liner, um, like that Hirachi Blue Yanis make these extremely comfortable in my opinion at least. Um, and if you're looking for an older pair, which I still think the newer pair is, it is better. Um, but I would still say go true to size. Anyways, that is another one from 2015. Next up. All right, so for this one, I went ahead and changed the video in the back to, of course, all the lights, classic song. Um, let's go ahead and get into these bad boys right here. 
the Adidas 350 Boost Moonrock. These are one of those shoes where I feel like once you get a pair of Yeezys in hand and your intentions are to actually wear them, you're gonna wear them actually a lot. Um, because first off, they're comfortable, they're monotone, they're just easy to wear with a lot of different stuff. Um, when you have these shoes in hand, they're gonna feel like, I don't wanna say a Roshi because I don't feel like this is a Roshi at all, um, but one of those shoes where you just throw it on casually, works with anything, and you just run out the house all the time. So that's kind of what this shoe has turned into for me. Um, is a shoe that I just toss on all the time um, and just run out and do something real fast. I mean, this is a this is this is a going out and a I need to run to the 7-Eleven kick in my opinion. So that is the Adidas 350 Boost, the Moonrock colorway. Um, and yes, before anyone says it, because people are like, "Yo, don't put the 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 shoe trees in because they stretch them out." These are 11 and a half. I usually wear 12, so I'm trying to stretch mine out just a little bit to give my toes a little bit more leg room. Um, or wiggle room and uh, we're gonna place these ones these ones gently because they're Yeezys. No, we're not. We're gonna push those out of the way too. Next shoe. Getting closer to the end of the list and definitely another kind of Kanye esque shoe other than the Aqua 8s and the Yeezys are the all black and red Farsi Red 6s. This is the old pair. I believe these were released in 2011, I believe. Um, and these shoes, I want to say I've worn these shoes more than probably all these shoes except for the shadows uh, combined that you guys are going to see. These things have been on my feet for, I don't even know how many times I've worn these things. They're just so easy. It's an all black suede shoe with the, well my sole isn't clear anymore, it's kind of yellowed. Um, but it's just, it's, it, it's easy, it's go to and it never fails. The, the bread sixes never fail. I might as well go ahead and see if I can find another pair on eBay uh, one of these days for a decent price. Um, I really haven't been on eBay as a check for these in a while, so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do that probably right after this video. But there is another one of my most worn for 2015. Once again, we're going to place these down gently. No, we're not. They're shoes, people. Next one. And next up, we dip into a little bit of the high fashion. Shout out to Kanye's Black Cement 3s. I really wish I still had my pair but I traded mine for Supreme Foams. I traded my Black Cement 3s for cash and Supreme Foams. I need to get those too. That's another eBay find I'm gonna have to find. Um, but these right here are the all black Adidas Y3 Kaza High. Um, another shoe, you guys are noticing that a lot of these shoes are black and that's because one of the colors I wear or that are in my clothes most of the time and that just goes with everything is black. Black, an uh, all black shoe, an all white shoe usually will never fail you. It goes with pretty much everything. Um, so these right here, the all black Adidas Y3 Kaza High. I really slick wish I would have got these because after wearing them, since they are a neoprene, I feel like it stretches a little bit with your foot. So I wish I would have got these a half size down instead of going my true size. Um, but you know, it is what it is. If they re-release, I'll try to you know cop an 11 and a half and probably let these go. But we'll see what happens. But that is these joints right here. A lot of people really don't like these shoes. A lot of people do. Um, I think they're unique. I like them and I actually think they're extremely comfortable. Anyways, there are those. Next shoe. Next up, I switched up the video again so you guys should be able to kind of have a good idea what it may be. And that is the OVO Air Jordan 10. Shout out to my dudes over at Chili Kicks once again for the assist on these. Um, this was my number one shoe of 2015. Um, and it's crazy because I didn't exactly see myself wearing these as much as I actually did. Um, I wear these all the time and it's like I'm not even scared because of the way this shoe is with this like this stingray stuff on the side like this stingray kind of material on the side. Um, it's almost like small little pearls and like a like a net like it's crazy the detail on these. I really like that detail. Um, but what I was saying is they don't look bad when the soles start to kind of yellow because they already have those gold flakes in them and they already look like a kind of like a pearled over shoe, like an off-white shoe in some cases. So once they start yellowing up, it's not like they're gonna look bad at all. So that's that's why I wear these so much. I just, I don't know. Some people just get shoes, I don't know. I, I guess I feel like it's weird because some people would get this shoe and be like, yo, like, why are you wearing those in the rain? Like, why are you wearing those here and there? And I feel like, you know what? If I paid the money to get them, I'm gonna wear them wherever I want, you know what I'm saying? I mean, they're gonna fall apart on you one day, whether you wear them out in the rain or not. So, might as well get as much wear out of them, or as much wear out of them as you can. Um, but yeah, man, the OVO Air Jordan 10, my top kick of 2015. And let's get into the last 
two um, most worn shoes of 2015. Uh, OVOs, bye bye. And for the last two, uh, I might as well just go ahead and leave this Drake video up here because he's rocking these as well. Um, I just incorporated these both into one, so it's kind of like a top nine, but at the same time it's top ten because these are two different pairs of shoes. Wheat Tims, Black Tims. Do I really need to explain to you guys why these are some of my most worn of 2015? I really don't think so. Anyways, guys, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to go ahead and throw these heavy Tims right here because if I throw those on my ground, they might go through the floor. Um, but yeah, man, what are some of your guys' most worn shoes from 2015? Please let me know down below in the comments. Um, and that's it, man. That's my most, my most worn shoes of 2015. Like I said, let me know down below what you guys are feeling. And anyways, I'm going to be out of here. So much love to all the fam, followers, and supporters. You guys can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, Snups, here, there, Blase Blah, and of course, Bullet RC. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Y'all be easy. Peace.